Microsoft floated like a butterfly and stung like a scorpion with its epic Xbox press conference, and we've got every big announcement from it right here on The Daily Fix, presented by the Marines. Plus, you better believe we're going to jump into another great giveaway. 4K then, let's do this. X gonna give it to you, and by X, I mean Xbox One X, and by it, I mean 4K. That's right, Project Scorpio is officially called Xbox One X, and it's coming this November 7th. On top of it being the most powerful console ever from Microsoft, it's also apparently the smallest, so obviously that means it's the cutest too. But that doesn't mean it's the cheapest, as the price stings a bit at $500. Now you can't show the true power of a new console without a pretty car game. I'm pretty sure it's a video game law or something. As such, say hello to Forza Motorsport 7, coming out October 3rd. Featuring over 700 rides, the game will run at native 4K and 60 frames per second on Xbox One S. Are you ready to walk like an Egyptian in Assassin's Creed Origins? Ubisoft finally unhooded the game, which has been leaked over and over and over, and you get the point. There are crocodiles, a big snake, and even cool RPG elements, like a leveling system and gear upgrades. Oh, and you get an eagle pet too. It's not a dog, but I'm gonna call it puppy when Assassin's Creed Origins arrives October 27th. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, the PC game clearly inspired by Battle Royale and Hunger Games, is breaking out exclusively on Xbox One at launch. Now that exclusivity language is vague, so who knows if it's coming to PS4 too. But what we do know is it'll arrive later this year on Xbox One, and when it does, I'll definitely be a winner winner chicken dinner. The undead will just never stay dead, will they? Actually, that's totally okay with me when it comes to State of Decay 2. Microsoft revealed that the Xbox One and Windows 10 PC game will release in Spring 2018. That's a longer wait than I want, but here's hoping the extra time is totally worth it. The Metro franchise will see a third entry next year called Metro Exodus. The reveal demo for the first person game contained too much wolf-like ghoul killing for my liking. They're basically puppers in my books, but other than that, I can still admit Metro Exodus looks amazing. You all love your spiky hair Super Saiyan fighting, and I can't blame you, so I'm happy to tell you that Dragon Ball Fighter Z was unveiled, a new game with a 3 vs 3 battling system. Look forward to it early next year. Looks like it's not going to be a pirate's life for me until next year. You see Sea of Thieves is planned to come out in early 2018. Rare also showed off a mission from the game featuring ships, skeletons, and most importantly, the booty. You can never forget about the booty. November 7th won't only see the release of Project Scorp- I mean Xbox One X. That's also when Crackdown 3 will finally launch. Microsoft announced the release date with the help of Terry Crews from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It basically made me wish Terry Crews was part of every game announcement ever from here on out. One of the most gorgeous, beautiful, and honestly stunning 2D platforming games is getting a sequel. Ori and the Will of the Wisps was officially announced, and I'm ready to just listen to that theme song repeatedly for the rest of the year, and maybe my life. Give this game to me ASAP, Microsoft. Bioware is bay for me. That's right, I'm super pumped. We got a more in-depth look at Anthem, an open-world third-person RPG that's coming out next year from the Mass Effect maker. The game has players sporting an exosuit called a javelin, and each one offers different abilities. You'll need them to fight massive monsters and to find loot. They also make you cool, which is obviously crucial too. Can you feel the true power of our giveaway? I sure as heck can, because thanks to the Marines, we're giving away any game that you can purchase or pre-order, as well as a console of your choice, including an Xbox One S and PlayStation 4 Pro. All you have to do to enter is fill out the form in the link on the screen here, or in the video's description, where you'll also find official rules for the giveaway. And that's your Daily Fix for June 11th. Now that you're caught up on Microsoft's E3 press conference, be sure to stick with us here at IGN for all of your live coverage of E3 2017. I'm Naomi Kyle. Don't forget to download the upgraded IGN app. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.